So we're working on this existing job and I'm gonna show you today what not to do when you're splicing wires. Oh man, I've got a mess here. So I was digging up, there's three valves here. They had them in individual boxes, all about six inches low. Had to dig them out because I've got to cap one off and they added some parking spaces here. So we've got to reroute some stuff. But then as I'm digging it out, I find a big old mess of spliced wires. So there's two things that are definitely wrong with this installation. Number one, it is a must that you splice all wires in a valve box. Now, if you're running some wires out and you're going out in different areas, that's fine that you're splicing them right there, but put them in a valve box. That way, one, they're accessible. If a splice goes bad or something, open up the valve box and you can fix it. Put some extra wire in that valve box as you're, as where you're splicing it, but put it in a valve box. Usually what I like to do is if I'm, maybe I'm running from the building all of my wires to one spot, I'll set a valve there or I'll run the wires where a valve's gonna be and then it's already in a valve box. I'm already putting a valve box in so my splices can be right there. I usually put in a bigger valve box if I'm gonna have a lot of wires spliced in it. It's just really something you've gotta start doing if you're not doing it now. Don't bury just spliced wires because if somebody's digging it up, having to do a repair, which always happens on the sprinkler system, they're gonna dig up a mess and now I had to just dig out one little spot and now I'm having to dig out this whole entire thing. But if there was a box there with these wires in it, I would have dug it out or opened it up and said, oh, here's a splice box, junction box. Then I would have been careful, a little bit more careful than I actually ditched through. So there's actually three things. Yeah, so I'm gonna move number two that I had as number two. I'm gonna move it to number three because I just now thought of this. This wire is like all on top of the pipe. So that's another thing. When you're running your wire, you really wanna run it first and have it all the way on the bottom, put all your pipe on top. That way you're not digging these wires up the first thing you put a shovel or a ditcher in the ground. So yeah, there's one, put them in a splice box. Two, put your wires down on the bottom of the ditch. Now, number three. So if you are going to bury a splice, I do not recommend, now these are a waterproof splice. They do have some of that goop stuff in there, but for burying, oh, this is not a good choice. Really, these aren't that great anyway. I use them sometimes, uh, especially if we're kind of on a budget build, but uh, these are not gonna last very long, even in a box, but especially just buried in the ground. I'm surprised they hadn't had tons of problems already, but not the right splice to use. If you're gonna bury it, and I don't recommend you burying it at all, but not a good, not a good splice.